No, I don't think that, he, that, that internet access is a fundamental human right in the same way that I don't think that getting access to a good newspaper is a fundamental human right in the same way that I don't believe that access to the BBC or, you know, NBC News or CNN or whatever is, it, is, it, is, is a fundamental right. Rights are things like, you know, rights, rights, liberties, these are things that are, that are, that are I think, more fundamental than that. Uh, do we want everybody to have access to the internet? Sure. Uh, do we want everybody to be able to use it in a safe and, 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 and secure way? Absolutely. Is it the kind of thing that uh, will make the world better for most people, most places? I think the answer is yes. But if, once you declare it a right, it, it takes on a completely different meaning in my mind. And frankly, uh, if it's a right, we, you know, we don't, the internet got built out by people. People investing their money, uh, people working with contracts. You know, this doesn't happen from the vapor. So to the people who say that this is a right, I would just shoot back and say, if you declare it a right, who's going to, you know, by what divine right do we have the money to pay for it for everybody? And you're also talking about the question of equal access. There will never, because people are in, start off in unequal situations, it's unlikely that everyone will always have equal access. And so going down the rights path, I think, is a, is, is a bit of a red herring. I think it's a bit, a bit, bit, of, a, a bit, of, bit of a false choice. The better choice would be, what can we do to provide better access to more people more often, and more importantly, at least as importantly, to, to help them understand what's out there that might be of benefit to them.